Wrong way. Did it stop? Bye. It's, it's a joke. Oh my god, I swear. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and if you have never seen my face before and you want to subscribe, make sure to subscribe. There will be a button and you can just click that button and it will subscribe you to my channel if you're on a computer. And if you're on a mobile device, it's right down there somewhere. Yeah. So today's video is going to be a what is on my iPhone 7 Plus. I've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube and I really like them and I got just tons of requests to this video. Uh, shout out to you Jade. But anyways, uh, let's just get right into the video. So starting off with my case, this is my case, um, sorry about the glare, I actually made this case and I got it from a video that I saw on YouTube. I will link that video down below along with the printout I used. I just have a clear case. I'll link my clear case down below and it's just like cac cactuses or succulents, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, cacti, I don't know. And I just have the silver iPhone 7 Plus and I got this as an upgrade from my 5S. If you want to see my unboxing of that video, I will put it right there. So yeah, let's just get into what is on my iPhone. So when you turn on my phone, you just see the lock screen and my lock screen is just a picture of like some palm trees and a cool background. I don't know, I saw this on Pinterest. And when you open my phone, this is my first page and I just have photos, Twitter, and Twitter, I use Twitter all the time. I follow like a bunch of like famous YouTubers on there and I follow a bunch of accounts. And if you do have a Twitter, you should follow me. My username is Lauren Shaner. I have it here and it will also at the end of the video in the end screen. Then I have Snapchat and this is just for my friends. I don't give it out to people. Um, then I have camera. So this is my camera and the portrait mode on this is like my favorite thing ever. It's really that good in this lighting. I don't know what to show it on. Uh, show on that. Um, I forgot to say. So I have photos and I keep all my photos in Snapfish, I'll explain that in a couple seconds, but um, so I don't really have many photos on my camera roll, I only have 60. And I have settings, I have Instagram and um, if you want to see how I edit my Instagram pictures, stay tuned for the end of the video, but I don't let anyone I don't know follow me on Instagram, so uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Then I have App Store and I have Snapfish. And Snapfish is just the best app ever. I keep all of my pictures in here. Snapfish doesn't take up storage based on how many pictures you have. It just takes up storage, like the actual app. So if you don't have a lot of storage, this app is really good. And you can also just print your pictures out from here. And you don't have to like, if you use this to print out pictures already all in here, so you can just choose the one you want to print out. And if you ever lose all your pictures, they're all here. And you can get them on your computer, you can get them on your phone, or any device you have. You just get the app and log in. That's why I don't really have any pictures, because I put them all in there. Sorry if the lighting is really weird, by the way. Uh, the sun, it's like really cloudy, so the sun's kind of, it's kind of gone. <laughs> on the bottom, I have the three apps I use a lot. I have messages, and these are just all my messages. I need to go through and delete them, because I have like, I have so many and if you didn't know, messages take up uh, storage. Sorry if like you can see the glare of my phone on my face. I know it doesn't look good, sorry. Then um, I have phone, pretty self-explanatory, uh, use this to call people, so. Then I have music and I have Apple Music, so I just have playlists on here that I use. I have this like Tumblr playlist, I guess of like cool songs, I don't know, I listen to that a lot too. And Apple Music is really good, it does cost money, but it just, you can listen to any song that you have, you have like unlimited skips. Then on my second page, I have all of the apps that are in folders, so the first page was just the apps I use the most, and the second page are all the apps that are in folders. So in my first folder, I have my photos folders, I don't know why followers plus are in photos, I guess it's like Instagram, I don't know. So I have these followers plus apps. I use those to just keep track of if anyone will follow me. I have one to post. Um, I don't really use this, but I used to. Uh, then I have Visco Cam, and 
I don't know, some people pronounce it Visco, some people pronounce it VSCO, I pronounce it Visco. And this app is just, oh my gosh, I love this. Ugh, what did I do? Please don't stop recording. So this is where I edit all of my Instagram pictures. Again, at the end of the video, I'm going to show that. But I love this app. This is pretty much the only app I use for filters. Um, then I have Boomerang. You probably know what Boomerang is. You just take a picture, it like does the thing, you know, where it like repeats it. Um, and I have pic collage. Sometimes I will use this. I don't really use this, honestly. I have Flippagram, and I use this to make like birthday uh, posts. Um, and I have Triller. If you don't know what Triller is, it's a really fun app where you like record yourself, and it will make it like. Then I have my editing app, and I have Fonto. I used to use this for thumbnails, but now I use PicMonkey. If you want to see a how I edit my thumbnails video, uh, let me know. Then I have YouTube Studio, and this is for creators. Oh, the glow from my phone is driving me crazy. Can the sun like come back out? Thanks. Um, and you can pretty much just keep track of things like your comments and your likes and all that stuff. Then I have the Canon camera app, and this is for my camera, so I can just connect it to my phone and all the pictures can go to my phone and I can save whichever ones I want to save. Um, then I have my music thing, my music folder and like I said I have Apple Music so I don't really use these that much. But I have the iTunes Store, SoundCloud, Spotify, and YouNow. Not sure why YouNow is the music but <laughs> um, then I have games and I the games I pretty much play the most are Subway Surfers, Adobe Draw, um, I use a lot and I'm working on this like drawing, I'm working on this drawing of Walt Disney now. It's in like the castle, I don't know, I use this when I get bored. If you want to follow my Instagram account of like my drawings, it's magically outlined. Put the thing right there. So you use Cooking Fever a lot. I s return to the side. Bye. Bye. I open Cooking Fever, it turns to the side and stops recording, but yeah. I sure this isn't sponsored, but I love Cooking Fever. It's so fun. Um, you pretty much just like cook things like hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff and then you serve them to people it's fun um then i have social and this is pinterest and pinterest is one of my favorite apps ever i swear oh my gosh i got like all my like inspiration for everything on pinterest um if you want to follow me my username or like name is lauren chainer um i have there's a bunch of different boards and i love this app so much then i have mail and i Usually I like used to delete my mail like the second I got it I would open it and then I delete it so I didn't build up but I just haven't had time to go through and delete all the ones that are here. Um, I have Musical.ly and <laughs> if you want to follow me on Musical.ly it's opening. Hold on. My username's Lauren Chainer. I have some pretty high quality Musical.ly's on here so if you want to check them out. Then I have my use folder. These are apps that I use. I don't know. I just couldn't think of another name for the folder. Uh, I have notes. I want to jot random things down. I don't not jot. That's writing. If I want to type random things down. Um, I have calculator. Uh, I have clock. And I use this. If you didn't know, as you can see, the little hand is like moving when you look at it. So I use this to see when my classes will be over um, because the clocks at school aren't always on the correct time. Uh, I have contacts, maps, calendar. Countdown is just an app where you basically enter in a date for something and it counts down things. That was for when The Vampire Diaries Season 8 was coming out. Uh, then I have Bitmoji. Uh, Bitmoji is this app where you basically like create a person and it has a bunch of like cartoons based on it. You can use it on Snapchat too. So yeah, that's my Bitmoji. Uh, then in my next folder I have question mark, question mark, emoji. This is the apps I don't really use that much. I have voice memos. Don't know why this is in here because I use that all the time. I use that to record voiceovers because I don't have a microphone. Um, I have iBooks, News, and iCloud Drive. Then I have personal. I don't really know why this is called personal because it sounds like these are like personal apps. Again, didn't know what to call it. I have Airbrush and I pretty much use this to like say I have this picture and I want to like brighten it or something, I can just take a little brighten tool and rub it over and it will brighten it so it's a little easier to see. And you can also use blur 
and like blur things out. Uh, so yeah, that's a good app. That's another app I use to edit my pictures. Then I have remote and this is for Apple TV. Uh, it's not signed in right now because I recently got my phone, so not all my apps are signed in. Uh, I find my iPhone. This is a really good app if you lose your phone all the time. Your family members have to have it too or the people on your family sharing thing. I don't know. And then you can just go on their phone, click play sound and it will play a sound of where your phone is. I'm not going to open it because it will show my location. Then I have Waze and this is like the best navigation app in my opinion. It shows you if there's a police car nearby, it shows you where the traffic is. I can't drive but I use this like if I'm in the car and someone else is driving. Then I have Find My Friends. I don't use that but I have my family members in it. Then I have Yelp and I don't think I'm signed into this yet. If you don't know what Yelp is, it basically just tells you good restaurants or anything that's near you like yeah. So if that's good for travel, if you don't know if there's any good restaurants near you, you can just go on Yelp. Then I have my school folder, and these are all the apps I use for school. I'm not going to really go into too much detail about them. I have Google Classroom, which is just where all my classes are. Um, Photomath. Photomath is a really good app if you don't know what that is. Uh, you can, if you need help on an equation or like how to solve it, you can just scan it. Like, let me just show you an example. I don't have any equations up obviously, but if I had something like this, you could just scan it and then um, it tells you all the steps of how to do it. So that's a really good app. Um, so yeah, that's my school folder. Then I have a weather and these are all of my weather apps. I do use all of these. So I use the weather app, the like one that it comes with for like just basic weather if I'm just checking really quick. Then sunshine, this is just like the community thing. This is just, I don't know, people from all over the world and it says like, what the weather is near them and it tells you like hi lauren today the weather will be cold make sure to wear a scarf and a jacket it says like things like that then i have reminders um i have this in weather i don't know why then i have weather bug uh that's just another weather app that gives you like a more in-depth of the weather i have my health folder so i have mount my ride i pretty much use this over the summer because i don't really ride my bike that much like summer or spring i don't really ride it in the winter um, it's not signed in right now because I haven't signed into a lot of my apps. Then I have Clue, I have Health, and I have this because it's like a pedometer so it can tell you how many stuff you took that day. I have LifeSum and I pretty much just use this for the recipes. So it takes you, it tells you good recipes that you can have to make. Uh, then I have Swork It and this is pretty much just like home workouts. Uh, Again, not signed in, but um, that's just like home workouts that you can do without any equipment and you can like select the time you want and all that stuff. Then I have shopping. This is just all my shopping apps. I have Amazon, Amazon, best app ever, um, Starbucks. And if you go to Starbucks a lot, you should get this app because you can get points and stars. And then when you get enough stars, it will give you a free drink. Then I have Sephora, again, like points and stuff, and all the rest of the apps from stores. I have TV, and on here I have Netflix. I don't really watch Netflix on my phone, but um, I use it if I'm like going to the gym. I don't bring my computer, so I can like put it up while I work out. I also use that if I'm going on planes, because you can download shows. I have YouTube, I have the CW, Fios, and TV. And I have money. I just have all these apps. I don't really use these that much, but I just have them on there if I need them. So yeah. And if you're wondering, my wallpaper is also from Pinterest. I will link that below with, along with all the other things I said I would link below. So now I'm just going to get into how I edit my Instagram pictures. So the first thing I do is I go into Visco and open that up. And for this one, I'm just going to use this picture of a Disney castle. So what I usually do is like I started my theme with like a certain picture so I just go most recent picture that I upload on my Instagram and I click copy edits and then I just paste the edits into the picture so I'm just going to get into what those edits are. So the first thing I do is I use P5 and depending on the picture, usually if it's a picture of a person it can make them look a little bit too blue but this one is a picture of a thing so I just adjust it. This one I'm going to do all the way up because it looks good that way. And I go to exposure. Sometimes I do it like up a little bit depending if P5 
made it too dark, but for this one, I'm just going to go to 0.8 down. Then I'm going to go into contrast. I'm just going to do negative one. Then I'm going to go into temperature and I'm going to up this by 1.1. Then I'm going to highlight, save. I'm going to up this by five. So that's the before, this is the after. So that is how I edit my Instagram pictures and this is what my Instagram feed currently looks like. That is it for my what is on my iPhone 7 Plus video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, like I mentioned several times in the video, all of the things I mentioned, like my lock screen, my home screen, my printout for my case, and the video I used to make this will all be linked below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you in my next video.